A couple of things I've done this weekend. Uh, the dishes, twice. Um, watched the social network, you know, the Facebook film. I thought it was quite good. Other than that, not a great deal because it's been chucking it down outside as usual for this British summer. Although we had, we had some, some nice weeks, but weekends, we've not been so lucky really. Uh, but I got this game on the old Ipahone called Tiny Tower. You can see it, it's at the, uh, oh, the side. There you are, that bomb on there next to the Tumblr. Tiny Tower. And you build your own little, oh, what go, 18 coins. You build your own little block of flats. Um, and then you uh, move people into the flats, then you build little services like um, laundrettes, um, arcades and stuff. And then you get the people to, who live in the flats to work in the uh, in the buildings. It sounds really shit. It almost sounds like something that a little girl would play, but it is brilliant. I sent a tweet out saying, you know, whatever you do, don't get tiny towers because it'll, uh, it'll take over your life and stop you doing anything. Three or four people got back to me saying, thanks for introducing me to that. And you say that now, but um, you know, you just can't put it down. It's just so, got to build another floor, got to build another floor. So that's taken over a good chunk of my weekend. As, uh, as well as watching a film, Social Network, what else did I watch? I watched another film, uh, Shutter Island. Watch that, got that from Love Film. That was pretty good. So, watched a few films, played in a game, been raining, not really done a great deal. Not really had much chance to get on the old final cut and do a bit more proper editing and stuff. And I'm using the proper Sony camera again and it's, uh, it's, I keep forgetting how good it is. So rather than me, you know, tell you what I've been up to, I'll show you. ran out of washing up liquid because I'm actually doing the dishes now but I filled the sink up with hot water. I went to Tesco Express, this is riveting stuff, I know. Yeah, you see on the end of your seat, I can see. But um, I don't have any bloody washing up liquid so I've just had to use hot water again. And uh, that's all I seem to have done this weekend is uh, washing up. This is fascinating stuff, I know you're, uh, you, you, you're dying to know. I mean all I'll do is I'll update you. When I get the washing up liquid I'll be like, look, I've got it and I'll show you it. And I'll show you the dishes being washed with it. Um, because that would be amazing. Let's face it, there's nothing better than that. I don't think there's enough of that these days. Washing up, or the pots, as some weird sort of southern attacks call them. Being washed with uh, fairy liquid, preferably fairy liquid, because I got this other stuff and it was shit. Squeezed about a metric ton in there, if that's a measurement of liquid, and uh, just, I don't know, the bubbles just didn't happen. Going out of that land and town this week, we work. Not been down there for a bit, so. Kind of, it'd be kind of nice to, uh, for a change. And I find the um, thing with London is it makes you really appreciate Lancaster because it's just so big and so amazing. Look at me, I'm in London, I'm really important. That sort of stuff goes on, and it just it's quite nice to see the sort of hustle and the bustle and see what's going on down in the capital. But it's, it's always nice, really nice to leave. I just could not live there. I don't know why people bang on about living there. I mean, what's the, what's the benefit? Everything costs a fortune. Imagine it'd be really difficult to get a job because everyone from, I mean, when you speak to the majority of people, even people that work in places, you tend to find they're not, they're not English, they're not British at all. It's just like, half of them can barely speak English, so you've got that to compete with. I don't know what the draw is really, I don't know what the attraction is, but it's good to, to visit from time to time. Um, so we have got a lot going on in the office. The weeks are just flying by. I mean, joke with the guys and say, it's Friday already, and I suppose it's Monday already tomorrow, but um, Christmas is looming. It really is. And you might laugh about that, but it is. After July, August, September, October, November, December, it's insanely close. Hopefully get a chance to do a bit of video on him down there, because that, that's always interesting, just to give you a bit of feedback on the hotel and the the, the people and the area and what's going on. But other than that, I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Anyway, I'll do a I'll try and do a video there at least uh, one evening and one morning. See how I get on. 
So uh, I'm going to go now and uh, yeah, probably got to bed. So I'll leave you in there. In fact, I'll shut this door on you. All right. Night.